YouTube, it's Jordan here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about something that nobody wants to talk about. The big B word. Get your mind out of the gutter because we're talking about budgets today. As a college student, a lot of people, they ask me like, how am I able to afford nice things? Um, how was I able to get my car without a co-signer? And so a lot of people, they thought that my parents got my stuff for me, but really, I work. I've been working nonstop since I was 16 years old and from that I was able to like save up and get the things that I wanted to in life. So I know a lot of college students they get refund checks. Um, I personally don't but we're going to break it down and I'm going to try and give you some tips and tricks on how to budget your money and save your money for college students. So let's get right into it. So my first tip is going to be you have to figure out how much money you're bringing in or when you get paid. I used to get paid bi-weekly, um, now I started a new job and I get paid weekly, so it's been a little bit of an adjustment for me. But if you get a refund check, then you get paid, or you get your refund check once every semester. So say you get like $2,000 per semester, or you bring in um, $400 plus every two weeks. So now you figure out how much money you're bringing in. Next, you need to figure out how much money you spend. So every time you go out to eat, write it down, um, whether you have rent to pay or um, a phone bill, you write that down and you calculate how much money you spend for the month. So after you figure out how much money you can you spend for the month and how much money you're bringing in, you can like kind of make some adjustments and figure out what you need to like cut on and um, what you can kind of splurge more and then you can figure out how much you can save. So... Say you don't have any bills and you're very fortunate, so then you can put yourself on a monthly budget of, okay, well, I have an entertainment or like going out party um, budget, so that might be $30. Um, you have a food budget, that might be $20. And so you can kind of set that money aside to do whatever you want to do for that month. Then followed by, so say you actually work. So once you get paid, after you pay all your bills, because you don't want to mess up your credit by not paying your bills on time, you're going to take, I personally take 30% of my leftover money and put that into my savings account. And then that extra money I have over. So that money that I have left over, I personally put 30% of my savings account and you do not touch your savings for any purpose unless it's an absolute 100% emergency act like your savings account isn't even there so then I take that and then I have the rest of the money to spend or if I'm trying to save up for something I act like my savings account isn't there so I'll have a separate saving for whatever I'm trying to buy and then my final tip for you guys is please don't charge it so if you have credit cards I mean I have a few but I don't spend past 30% 30, 30 of my limit because once you spend past 30% of your limit, they actually flag your account. So, I'm sorry, I got distracted. They actually flag your account and that goes like on your credit like, hey, this person is kind of like overspending, they need to watch it and that's going to affect your credit too. So, you want to make sure that you aren't messing up your credit at a young age because bad credit is the key to a bad life and you do not want to mess up your credit it's so hard to try and get it back up and it takes years and especially graduating college soon you might want to get a new car or get an apartment so you just want to not mess up your credit that can be a totally different video but those are my tips on how to budget your money in college please like and give this video a huge thumbs up um, comment down below what other type of videos that you would like for me to do next. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.